All right. Jordan Trask here, day two of the 25 days of Christmas. And what we're doing is just keeping it really simple. Today went a, a little bit long yesterday, but we're gonna talk about random industries, random business markets, and how we can come up with something creative for the holidays, maybe just something that could, we could do during the holidays. Uh, how do we measure it? How do we focus on opportunity? How do we make sure that it's unique and original? So uh, I wanna appreciate you guys for joining me today. We're just gonna jump right in. So today's topic is storage units, storage centers, or you know, storage rentals. And when you know you really think about this time of year, you know who's really in the market for storage units. And I think initially, just being a young, having a young family myself, uh, every time that we've moved or grown our family, we've uh, you know had to put some stuff in storage, right? And typically, when you have a family. And you work and all that stuff you know a lot of people don't work these days but if you do work um, the most opportune time to put stuff into storage or move is gonna be Christmas break summer break spring break stuff like that where your kids are not in school right so um, you know that's one thing I was initially sitting here thinking about this just before we jumped on live was you know if, if I'm a storage company right now there's probably a lot of people that are in the process of moving uh, moving states even um, so that their kids don't miss any part of the school year, right? It's kind of common sense. Another thing that really, really I want to focus on today just for this campaign is uh, those people that actually realize for the first time during the holiday season that they have too much crap at their house or in their garage. And every year, um, you know, this is just zeroed in on me really, uh, really clear. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the only guy that, that's done this. I know it, uh, but you know, huffing and puffing, having to pull out the Christmas lights, Christmas decorations after Thanksgiving is over, uh, presents, wrapping paper, just, I mean, I know my son loves putting stuff up in the house, so we have all these kind of little knickknacks stuff to hang on the wall, hang on their shelves, or put on the shelves here that just make it a little bit more festive for the holidays. You know, I know. We all know somebody that's a little bit obsessed with Christmas, but everybody has some sort of decor that they pull out this time of year. So it just made me think, it's what I'm doing right now with my son. It made me think about that guy that's really like, dang, I really, this is the last year that I'm gonna do this. Uh, and so we wanna try to come up with, with a strategy that caters to this guy or this gal, sorry, it's not just a guy that does the Christmas lights, the heavy, the heavy lifting and putting stuff up. You know, gals can do that stuff too. Um, but we're going to focus on this guy during this season. Um, maybe you're having company come over, right? For the for the first time, you're having a big Christmas dinner. Maybe you just had one for Thanksgiving, and you had to rearrange some things and realize, dang, I don't have a lot of space. Maybe I should start looking into storage. And when you really think about when you first look into it, if, if you're not privy to it, um, it's really not that expensive unless you're in a place like Phoenix, like I was, uh, in the middle of a huge uh, growth market and. Uh, snowbird season in spring training where we couldn't find storage we couldn't find an RV park nothing to help us with the transition in our move but that's neither here nor there uh, I know some of the things that I found out or looked into during that short period of time that I was looking for one were kind of eye-opening right that some of the things that I would appreciate so when you really initially think of, of a storage company storage unit you know, there. I I think just I don't know this because I've never worked with this industry. The last industry that I talked about yesterday, I, I had some experience. But I'm gonna go ahead and assume that, that they have an amazing CRM system. That they know, um, you know, every single one of their renters, every single one of their inquiries. You kind of consider it like a U-Haul or even you know property management. It's it's they they get a lot of information from you. They need you to fill that information out. So being able to organize. Um, that information not only to access it but for marketing uh, and retargeting opportunities uh, mailers right or email uh, stuff that you automatically get subscribed to every time that you uh, you know rent something like like a storage unit uh, is pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and assume pretty standard uh, pretty pretty common and, and I would assume pretty effective because uh, people that are actively looking for a storage unit, they're going to go off price most every single time or air conditioning unit uh, or proximity, right? What's the closest place? What's the the, the place that has safe, 
uh, and what's the best bang for my buck? You know, I'm, I'm probably going to drive a couple miles more to pay $50 a month uh, versus the one down the street for 65 You know, it's just, especially if you're storing something throughout the year. So, um, but that's when it comes to doing a campaign, um, you're not, in most cases, you're not really going to reach somebody in, in the search. So this is kind of the way I work through stuff. And, and think about it from the consumer's perspective. You know, do we want to focus a, a lot of money on a really high uh, costing ad campaign, video campaign with a landing page and all this stuff? Yeah, I mean, initially we might want to do that to set up the foundation of the business. But when it comes uh, to the actual search, search phase of the customer cycle, you know, you have uh, your needs recognition, your awareness, your actual search and decision, and then the experience, uh, you know, you're not going to really have much of an opportunity to get in front of somebody unless they're really doing a lot of research uh, to make a decision. They're going to look at their maps. They're going to maybe look at their search results. Maybe ask a friend. I doubt it. Uh, maybe somebody local that they have. That's a resource, but I doubt it. And they're going to call around, shop around, make a decision fairly quickly. They decided that they needed storage. They have stuff that they needed to put there. And they're going to figure that out today. Now, somebody that um, what I'm going to really focus on, what I really help companies with is in that uh, needs recognition phase or even just a general uh, awareness phase, right? Like, you're, well, not even awareness, but maybe, maybe we'll just call it awareness because as somebody that's not actually looking for something that... Uh, that doesn't need storage right now, but comes across the video. And I think that's really where you're able to create those impressions. You're able to create those memories. You're uh, able to be remembered when the time comes that somebody needs something. So the holidays is the perfect time right now before that guy gets into that groove of putting his stuff away, right? And January 1st, January 2nd, whatever his routine is. And we want him to stumble across uh, this ad now. Right, we want to have them see a video now, uh, social media, YouTube while they're watching something, uh, chilling at home while they have their time off with their family. Come across the video of a storage unit, something that they don't know that they need yet, so that when the time comes, they're like, "Man, I really like this commercial." So it's a little bit different than what we did yesterday, but I want to try to take a spin on that because I have no idea, uh, knowing what type of market that we're in, what type of client I'm working with. What's the reach of the storage unit itself, the brand? Is it nationwide? Is it global? Is it just local? Is it somebody's backyard, somebody's shop? These are all things that play a big role in how you go about marketing. Um, so we're just going to keep a really general, uh, basic awareness video. Um, and so what I would do in, uh, to kind of paint this picture, and just again, it's off the cuff. It's not a huge brainstorm. It's just ideation. It's just all straight talk. Um, you know, spitballing here, but I think it would be kind of cool to target this type of fellow who's huffing and puffing probably by himself. Kids probably don't want to help him. It's too cold outside. He's in the garage thinking about, you know, putting his stuff in storage, right? And then maybe you have another guy that's in the shed uh, or has a shop that's realizing, man, I don't have enough space for my stuff. I don't have, what's the brothers, the movie Step Brothers, <laughs> where they're like, let's build our, build our bedroom into bunk beds so that we can do all these activities, right? That's kind of how a guy thinks you got to have your little space, your little chair, your little corner. And if stuff is getting clustered, you know, at, at some point, you know, you're probably going to sit there and think, man, you know, this is irritating me or vexating me. Uh, I, I need to do something about this and I want this in this area. So I can imagine this, this man in probably my age, 30, forties, that's, that's starting to get old, tired of moving the stuff back and forth. And then, um, starts to envision this amazing space that he has. And maybe do a video of a guy, you know, maybe initially having something small, like, I don't know, like a little corner desk or a little workshop or a little fountain or something, or just a little table maybe that has some of his things on it or just a chair, right? And then maybe move it into an exercise bike. You know, you start transitioning this guy's thought process of, you know, I could just have a fish tank aquarium or something here in the corner. I could move this Christmas stuff. And now his mind's starting to get a lot bigger. I could have exercise equipment. I could have some jet skis. <laughs> uh, if you want to stay with the season, you know, have a snowmobile, right, during this, this time of year. 
instead of sitting here in my garage, you know, cold, putting my stuff where I could be out riding my snowmobile. And then, you know, maybe have enough room to put, you know, a little swimming pool or a spa or hot tub. Maybe just, you know, be kind of goofy with it, fun with it. But at the end of the day, you were capturing this dude this young guy's imagination of standing in his shop, what it could be if he had the extra space. Um, and then I think, you know, what would be really cool is to just make make the commercial really, really memorable is, is be able to have that guy finally have that space clean, be able to see this, the, the, air, the, the room that he has, be able to have an action, you know, a plan in act, of action that he can put into place. And then he goes to start moving the stuff, right? It's the day. He's, he's talked to his wife into it or whatever his roommate and they're going to go habsies on it and he's taken his stuff to the storage unit and then comes home, ends up finding out, you know, like his wife's pregnant or they got a dog and they got to put the dog in the space or something. And that, I could just see that's something that I could really resonate with and, and maybe I'm biased, but I think a lot of guys, typical guys in general, family, fathers maybe. Um, that are typically probably going to be the ones making decision on storage for the most part, not always, um, to be able to encompass this epiphany, this drudging activity, right, that they hate doing, that everybody relates to, this epiphany of an idea of what they could do with it. It's not that expensive. Wow, this is really easy. Taking it over there and then that dream being snatched for something else that's once again more important than dad which is more than likely a child or a dog. So I just thought that that would be really cool. It kind of, uh, you know, rounds out a lot of these things. And I think it might, just sitting here thinking about it, might be even more uh, better to do something like a little shed, a little work sh a shed that's in the backyard that you could just create all these different types of ideas that they could do with that shed and then have those ideas be taken away. At the end of the day, the stuff's still safe. It was still effective. The decision to move stuff into storage was still a good one. It just didn't get to be used by him. So, uh, you know, that goes again to your upsell opportunities of being able to constantly email your customers, the people that are in storage. Hey, do you need this? Do you need that? Uh, did you have a baby? Did you have a dog? Did you downsize your house? Uh, do you realize that you need space for something else? Are you working from home? Do you need a home office? All these types of campaigns that can come from um, you know, just a really, really funny uh, TV commercial that everybody can relate to. So um, that's just another thing, you know, another pre-focus for today, uh, for this month, day two. I'm kind of exhausted already because I got a lot of things to do this month. We just moved and everything. So hopefully that all makes sense. Hopefully it flows well. Hopefully it caused you to have a really, a really cool idea for the holidays and start marketing today. And, um, you know, when it comes to video, anybody could do video. You could shoot it from your home. You can make stuff on social media. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or you could do a 30-minute phone call with me. I can help you map something out for free. It's what I love to do. It's what I'm good at. And um, at the end of the day, marketing, advertising that resonates with your target audience, uh, target audience and it's also cohesive with your brand identity is super powerful. And it doesn't require a lot of persuasion because it's trustworthy, true and mean something to most people. So be purposeful with everything you do, guys. And always remember to pre-focus.